Welcome everyone to Subnautica Below Zero. This is the full release of the game now. The game is finally out on Steam, Epic Games. I think it's available on Switch now, on PlayStation. I believe it's also on Xbox. But I've followed this game since early access, since the very first day it came out. I actually bought it on the first day that it came out. And it, it's gone through a a lot of different changes because obviously the lead I think the lead story right left halfway through development so they had to change up the story because in the first thing you spawned into that research facility and went from there and there was a like a space station like floating up in the air so I'm I'm gonna start a new game for this just to see if any of the beginning of the story changed and all that from the last time that I jumped into the game. So off we go. I probably should have said all that like whilst this was loading. But I'm I'm gonna try and do the game to completion. Like try and find a lot of the story items because I know that like within the like game world if if you don't know you play as character who's trying to find someone I'm not going to spoil too much story just in case you haven't seen it but it should be a fun little journey we'll find some a few friends build a few vehicles and just have a bit of fun on an alien planet that is I'm not going to say completely covered by water because it's not because there are some land places around but yeah so I will meet you when the game loads Alright, the game's just loaded, and this is the intro cutscene, so here we go. Also, my keyboard. This is the farthest that I can take you on company space box, Robin. You sure you want this? The research is in everything. It is to me, and Sam. We need to know what happened. The meteor storm. I can use it for cover from Altera's eyes. <sighs> Gonna miss you, Robin. I'll find my way back. I love the fact that she uses a meteor storm to get onto this planet without all terra now. Approaching 45 46 feet. Surface temperature is. Drop front deployed. Oh, that's gonna leave Mark. So, welcome back to planet 4546B, because this is the exact same planet as the first game. And whereas in the last game you were actually with Altera, in this one you are completely against Altera. You do not like Altera one bit. Welcome so, to 4546B. Enjoy your stay. Thank you very much. Nice thing is you can also stand by this to up your little temperature gauge, which I guess it would because it is literally on fire right now. So there's a few things scattered around the drop pod. We've got a New flare. I very rarely use flares. That's the drop pod. Um, Hopefully, is there any more around here? I was trying to go like round like a corner and just see some like very rare material. Got stuck then. So I don't think there's too much different at the very beginning of the story. I I, I don't think much has changed from the last time I did this. But it is still a very nice game. Like the the snow textures, the actual ice textures around as well. Like and the fact that there's just a meteor storm just casually happening in the sky at the moment. I think yeah, these things also give you heat. Holy smokes! That did not go as planned. I should find a way into the water and get to the drop pod. I don't know if that was here. 
last time I played it. It might have been, but I'm not 100% sure to be completely honest with you. So, let's keep going. And here's where the main game takes place. Okay, so you can get back here, like, should you feel like it. But, into the water we go. Uh, thank God we got some copper. Because on the way over to the drop pod, I'm going to try and pick up like, a few resources. And just so that we've like, got the stuff to get going and everything else. I need some ribbon plant, I also believe. Which, there might be some actually over near, like nearer the drop pod. Might be some down here actually. Nope. Oxygen. Oh, yep. I'm very bad at keeping an eye on all my stats in the bottom left. So, depending on which side stuff pops up on, I'll have to move my camera around and find this place. So, I might appear down in the bottom right because I don't think bottom Found right. The drop pod. But yeah, I don't think the bottom right gets used. So. I want to offer my sincerest condolences on the passing of your sister. I got to know Sam better towards the end of my mandate with Altera on 4546B, when we were thrown together as pacemates at Outpost Zero. She spoke often and fondly of you. I thought you should know it didn't sit right with me when Altera blamed Sam's death on negligence. The Samantha Ayu I met was many things. Kind, clever, devoted to her work, but never negligent. I wish I could offer you something more substantial, but my access to information has been cut off. Um. You may be in a better position to look into things than I am. If you're able to, Delta Station was our HQ. They were in a big hurry to leave, and there might still be information to be found there. It has a big radio tower, impossible to miss. I hope you find the answers you seek. Lillian Bench. So what I've just got from that is our character's named Robin. It said that in the first cutscene. Um, Sam was our sister. She worked for All Terror. And from what I've just got from that, Sam died due to her own negligence. But that, but from this character, Lillian Bench, that's not the case. It sounds like All Terror's trying to hide something. So, uh, dear Miss Au, on behalf of Z Zeta, Zeta, Zeta Landon, forty five four six B robotic section leader, and uh, Transco, I regret to inform death of yours, the death of Smith Fight. So yeah, Sam's dead. Robin, oh. guess what? I'll let these play. I got the job. I'm going to forty five forty six B. Now I'll be able to improve the mechanical avian amphibian under real-world stress conditions. Listen, I know your stance on Altera, but I just hope you're happy your sis is happy. I sure hope my sis is happy. <laughs> I can't wait till we talk again. Oh, I wanted to ask you something. Can you watch my Augie while I'm away? I need someone I can trust to look after my best little potato. <laughs> potato, listen. Um. I tried, but that name is just not sticking. He's my little extra bite. I'll leave the starchy tuber as nicknames to you. Anyway, if you say yes, thanks, what? baby sis. Love you. Catch bladder fish. Well, Sam, I guess I might as well gather some tools and resources before starting my search. Hope that radio tower is as easy to spot as Lil said. Um. <laughs> hmm. I don't know if it's actually easy to spot. But because I've played it, I know where it is. So I'm not going to go straight there because I don't know if that's going to mess anything up with the story. I don't know if I get told where it is or like anything. So uh, we should probably play the second message. Where are they? They're in there. Message two. Four five four six B to Robin. Come so, yeah, I Robin. need to try and find Robin's <laughs> Remember when we used to play old-timey space explorer? 
This is kind of like that, but it's even harder to communicate. <laughs> well, let's see. I got your last message. Altera is not, as you put it, alterrorizing me. Things are going well. What did we My put? project has a new name. Say goodbye to the mechanical avian amphibian and hello to spy panglings. We're training the bots to mimic the creatures. Why is that going? Check out the photo. And I think I'm kind of seeing someone. I know it's not like to just find a date, let alone on a mostly uninhabited water planet, but that's a spy penguin. That's sound. Actually, before. you know what? Forget I said anything. Yeah, it's it's probably not even a real thing, but anyway, um, she sounds happy. I'm sorry to hear Xenoworks might be strapped in the revenue department. Sounds like they still have you busy Xeno working, though. I know there's no way to guarantee an alien intelligence startup will succeed, but you've put so much into it. I hope they find a way to keep going. I know how much it means to you getting to work at a small place where you have control Ripping over your plans. research. Ripping plans. All right, I gotta go. Later, baby sis. Love you. Finally. Ribbon plants contain electrolytic materials that can be used in energy storage. Batteries. Uh, can I get here before I drown? Uh, I'm going to be cutting it close. Right. Uh, battery. I should probably actually get the third one going. I was a little nervous about dropping into an unknown area. But luckily, this biome seems to have an abundance of minerals I can use for tools and upgrades. I didn't want another situation like Byzantos 5. When Xenoworks dropped me off, there were barely any resources. I survived. In goes the battery and titanium. Oh, oops. Now comes a scanner. Every Xenobiologist's favorite tool. This planet has some fascinating flora and fauna, and I can't wait to learn about them. This will also she be really a like greater upbeat. tool set. I'm assuming Altera left behind tech that I can scan for blueprints. I suppose that should make surviving and exploring out here a bit easier. Don't worry, Sam. I haven't forgotten I'm here for you. But it can't hurt to do a little research on the side, right? I know you would have done the same. I will find out what happened to you. I promise. The sea glide fragments have changed. Yeah, she sounds really upbeat for trying to find Oxygen. or find her sister. So. Uh, there's another one. Somewhere. There it is. Because if I can get the sea glide, then I can like travel around a lot quicker, and it'll just make stuff a whole lot easier. But have they been updated? I feel like they're like a lot more like broken down. I don't know. Coral bridge. And like I said, like in the last playthrough I did of this game, that. I'm probably gonna scrap. I've got, I've still got the save, so Oxygen. I might jump back into it at a later date. And because it does say that you can like continue from where you were, but I feel like just starting a new save and seeing everything different. Oh, I'm. Uh... I died. <laughs> Oops. I think I died literally like right outside here, but <laughs> don't talk when you're dying. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'll probably go around and like scan all the little plants and just so that the little like scan icon doesn't pop up because it might get a little bit annoying after a while. We're just constantly seeing the same thing over and over again. Oxygen. How many times can I die in this game? It's more funny. It's not going to be down to the creatures that kill me. It's literally just going to be my own stupidity that just gets me killed. So I need to try and find the third. Yeah, like all of these. There's like twisted mandrakes and what, and pink narrow leaves and what. I'll just I'll do a quick run round either before a video or after this video, and just scan them all off. So by the time you see the game next, all of that will be scanned, and any new area I'll just go from there. I'm going to die again. Oxygen. 
I need to find one more fragment, then we can make the sea glide. There it is. I have spotted the final fragment. Right in the cursor now. This is one closer. No. Just go for the one that you see. There we go. Got it. We got the sea glide. Well, I say that we haven't got it yet. We just have to go and build it, but you know. Uh, the pink narrowies. Hopefully, I don't know. What do I need for the sea glide? Sea glide. Yeah, you got the sea glide. Copper wire lubricant battery. I can make a battery. Probably can't make. Copper wire. No, I need one more. Uh, what do I need for lubricant? I don't know. I think it's creep. Uh, creep seed. Creep vine seed clusters. So whilst on the way over there, we should probably try and find that last bit of copper that we need. I'll grab you for water as well. I also need to work on making a oxygen tank. I might actually scan the group lines. There you go. Oxygen. Can I grab this and then run? Or swim? Swim! New blueprint synthesized. Nearly died again. Whoa! That's a bit. I should probably actually scan these. And I'm just going to take as many as I can because I. I believe this all comes in handy. So now we just need that last bit of copper. This is going to be titanium, guarantee it. Yep. Oxygen. Yeah, oh, oxygen again. Love the oxygen. Now, have I got anything? I suppose I can use, actually, use that. Then we'll try and find it. Please give me copper. Yeah. We got the last bit of copper that we need, so we can now make the sea glide. So, copper wire. Make the lubricant. And we're also going to make some silicon rubber. I can go down here and make a knife. And sea glide. I might also make the air bladder, just because I never make it. The sea glide is a personal transportation device used for high speed free diving. Why not? Contains a built in light and map. If you are tired of hearing the word oxygen, the air bladder provides a significant upward thrust to help you get to air faster. Okay then. Uh, right, I'm actually going to make some more of that. I'm just going to keep flicking back and forth between silicon rubber and lubricant. Just so then we've, we've got it in the locker, so if we need it we can just grab it out and go. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three. Fair enough. Add the exact amount to get halfway. Or to get equal amounts of each. And I think I'm going to leave this first episode here. So, we got the introduction done. We've got a sea glide. We've got an air bladder for reasons that I don't know. I'm actually going to do that. So, number three is that. That's that. That's that. So, yeah. And... I guess in the next episode we'll just swim around, explore, see if we can find anything new, and if we can then that's pretty great, we've got new stuff to look at. 
So I hope you all enjoyed this video and if you did, um, please consider pressing the red subscribe button down below and because it helps me out a lot and leave a like on the video because then it lets me know that you want to see more of this game and I can I will play it to completion. I'll probably play it to completion anyway because I don't actually think I've ever actually completed the game like in any of the bases. I've just basically made a base and just lived on an ocean planet. So yeah, if you did enjoy, I will see all of you in the next video. Goodbye.